I'm so happy with my choice of coming here and getting all the experiences that I was able to have. It was probably one of the best experiences of my life. I wouldn't change it for the world. The RIT women's hockey program, already in the midst of a very successful era, will take another significant step forward in 2014 when the Tigers begin play in the brand new Gene Policini Center. The size of the arena, the upgrades everywhere, the state of the art type of facility that we're going to have, it's just going to take us to another level. The Policini Center, I can't even imagine. It's just going to be one of the coolest things ever and one of the best drinks in college hockey. The last three years have been remarkable. In 2012, they won the NCAA Division III Championship. Here we go, ladies. In 2013, they moved to Division I. And in 2014, RIT won the College Hockey America Championship. We've accomplished everything that we possibly could while I was here. The National Championship at D3 and then League Championship at D1. It's like all you could ask for, I guess, when you come to college and for hockey and for a sport. Just having fans that support you so well and they get you going too. They're part of why we've been so successful. I think as a program we're in a great spot right now, moving up to Division I so early on to win your first league conference title in your second year. You know, it's a great start for us. The competitive CHA has six teams. RIT also plays non-conference games against many of the nation's top programs, and the Tigers make a difference with special games for autism, cancer, heart disease, and wounded warriors. Last season, they also played an outdoor game at Rochester's Frontier Field. The outdoor game was absolutely amazing. It was snowing and, you know, we had to hop the boards and go shovel. You grow up playing pond hockey outside with the snow and the, the cold and everything, but then you get to play in a real game. That was amazing. RIT has 24 varsity sports with outstanding facilities that include state-of-the-art fitness and weight rooms. There's a goal. The unforgettable hockey experience is surpassed only by the education. Founded in 1829, RIT has nine leading colleges with an emphasis on career education and experiential learning. The extensive selection of academic programs includes majors in business, liberal arts, health science, and engineering. The dynamic and diverse campus is located in Greater Rochester, New York, three hours from Toronto and five hours from New York City. The education here is like top notch. The support here with the academics, like you can go for tutoring, for writing help, anything. They get you to where you need to be. It's such an amazing outlet here at RIT with the academics and the athletic facilities. I feel like I'll be ready for the real world. If you think the play is done, it's not until the whistle is done. That's when they'll stop playing. Ontario native Scott McDonald is RIT's all-time leader with more than 170 victories. His career winning percentage is among the best ever in NCAA women's hockey. You have to guide them and lead them in a certain direction and we believe in certain values and and we have a mission statement that we're going to follow as a team. We tell them, if you're going to develop and be a champion, then you're going to have to practice and play like one every day. I love it here. It's been 11 years now between the guys and the girls, and uh, looking forward to many more years. A memorable hockey experience, a distinguished degree, and a commitment to community. The Women's Hockey Program at the Rochester Institute of Technology. The atmosphere is just amazing and I'll never forget it. I'm really glad I came here. Wouldn't change it for the world.